Monica in the morning. Hey, it's Alyssa Milano. Good morning. Good morning. We were just talking about pregnancy cravings, and Alyssa, you have been known for getting a little bit of backlash for going on Instagram with your breastfeeding selfies. Really, it started out as just like, you know, that moment that you want to share on Instagram where you feel like it's worthy of a selfie. Um, Because I know that people share a lot more silly things than than that beautiful moment between a mother and a child. Um, But then because I started getting backlash, I was like, well... I'm going to keep posting these because this is crazy. Right. Um, you know, and, and the whole point is to try to normalize breastfeeding because uh, I think it's an important thing. I think it's important for, for our kids to see other women breastfeeding. Like, I want my daughter to live in a world where she watches uh, and it's normal for women to breastfeed. Uh, you know, every doll that you see on a shelf in a store has a baby bottle. Right. Um, and and that's I think not sort of imprinting your your girl babies with with the right thing. But would it be kind? Of, it would be kind of weird if it came along with a breast, I guess. <laughs> but why? It's only weird. It's only weird because we've sexualized breasts. Yeah, you know, my wife and I. When my wife is out breastfeeding, uh, there's people, men and women, that both give us that look. It is not just men. I mean, I think I think I've I've gotten a lot of comments from women as well. There are other countries that, that have sexualized breasts, but um, they're, they're also accepting of the fact that breasts are, are actually made to breastfeed. So it can be both. You have been known to say, well, at least once anyway, I saw this quote, your female body is the perfect machine, which I love. Yes. We call my wife the milk truck. <laughs> <laughs> Project Runway starts tonight. Project Runway All-Stars. Um, we have a great, a great season ahead and I'm really excited for everyone to see it. Uh, we have an amazing lineup of guest judges. Uh, we have Boy George and Kesha and Kristen Cavallari, Coco Rocha, uh, who else? Deborah Messing, Zach Posen, uh, Nina Garcia, Brad Goreski, Debbie oh, Mozar. I mean, it's just an amazing lineup of guest judges this season and as well as, you know, amazing designers. And uh, we, we even do a, a touch challenge. You don't have this clothing line called Touch by Alyssa Milano, which is all sports license. Um, and it's female fan apparel. And we actually did a touch challenge this season on Project Runway All-Stars where the winning design is a part of my fall collection. For people that didn't know, you design stuff. You even have a comic book. I do, yeah. I created a comic book, a graphic novel. So cool. Talk about activist. uber creative. Yeah, you know, I just, I feel like I need to do a lot of things to feel creatively fulfilled. Um, and these are all things, you know, with exception of being in front of the camera, all this stuff behind the camera, like my designing and and the comic book and everything. These are things I could do from home so I could be with, be with my children and still feel productive. And that's all I think super important for me. We're going to catch you tonight, Alyssa. Project Runway All-Stars on Lifetime. Thank you. Have a great day, guys.